Welcome to String Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models and electronics. Normally I would say Nintendo Switches, but we have something totally new for the channel right now. Let's see what I got in the box. So I just got this in. This is from eBay. We'll open it up and then I'll show you the listing if I can still find it. So let's see what we have here. I know what it is, but do you know what it is? So. definitely sealed well and it looks like it is packed well so let's see what we have here and there's nothing else in there I believe that this was sold through a company not an individual seller but it was very specific on the uh, damage that it had on it so We're going to open this up. As you can probably tell, it is an Xbox One S. And we're going to take a look at it and see if I can fix it. Whoops! Pretty clean. So, if you watched my unboxing stream, you saw me unbox a bunch of 1X or 1S parts, and this is the unit I'm going to be working on. So, let's see here. So, this is the bottom. You know, it's pretty scratched and banged up. The top looks pretty good. I don't see... I see a little bit of dust. Let's see any damage? Let's check the back here. That is the back. Uh, the warranty sticker looks like it's definitely been messed with. So this definitely... Yeah, it's... I believe this has definitely been gotten into before. But... If you look at the HDMI port here, let's see if I can zoom in on that. You can see that the HDMI port is definitely knackered. So that is going to need to be replaced for sure. Um, I was worried that maybe someone attempted the HDMI repair on this. And, um, and I wasn't sure how that was going to go. So, and then also the uh, encoder might, or the retimer might need to be changed. So this is that little icky on the sides there, but you know, not too bad. So let's see if we can get into the bottom. Well, let's, let's plug it in and see what happens when I plug it in. I'm not gonna plug an HDMI cable into it because of reasons. It beeps on and a light blinking fan is spinning it's not turning off so I believe it's working so I believe it's working you can see that the I really can't see the light on the camera but it's blinking there so let's turn it off and let's um, unplug it and let's see, uh, let's see if we can get inside this thing. So, I am going to try to remove this warranty sticker so it doesn't give me any issues. Now, I have never ever been inside of a Xbox before. So, I'm not sure what it takes to get into one. More than that, apparently. Let's 
Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's do this side over here. Okay. Looks like there's a sync button up here. So I'm not sure how that front panel comes off. Okay, so I definitely didn't do it perfectly, but I did get it apart, the bottom part anyways. So like I said, that sticker definitely looked like this was been into before. So I'm not sure here. Uh, looks like it's got some kind of weird goo on it or something. But let's take out some screws here. So I'm going to take out these. Uh, green screws, I believe they're T10. I'm going to get out my Mahi I got for Christmas that doesn't have all the bits in it like I prefer to have in it, but um, T10. T10's a little loose. That's too big, so I guess it is T10. Okay, so take out these green screws here. And these green screws aren't labeled on here. Well, it's labeled F3, F5, F6. So the green screws go into the F slots here. So we're going to see what we got here. This could be very well as simple as an HDMI port. This was a hundred dollars um, with shipping so uh, yeah, so it, if it's just an HDMI port and a retimer, it's a pretty good deal. So it's definitely dirty inside. It's definitely going to need a clean. Um, everything looks good in there. So, so far so good. So, let's get these side panels off. They look like uh, weird torques here. Let's see what we have here. So that's probably going to be a T9. Yep. I will take these cards off. I have test cards for these if I need to if these seem to be a little bit uh, they don't seem to be working I have replacements and I also have known good ones um, I don't know if antennas are supposed to be attached to these or not but I, I, don't, I don't think so I don't remember seeing antennas before watching people take them off um, so card like I said is very dirty I'm going to have to address the dirt and grime. So I'm going to take this front panel off. Back you out a little bit there. The screws are definitely in there, so I don't know if it has been taken all apart or what all has gone into it. 
So let's take this off here. So I have also have another front panel if I so need to replace it. Okay, so that is that part. Let's take off this and let's take a look at what we got inside. So we have a 500 gig hard drive. Very dirty fan, very nasty. We have our disk drive and we have our we have this here. I believe this comes out. Um, I believe that comes out like that. That comes out like that. So that's our support. Got to make sure we put that back in. Um, hard drive oh I need to loosen all these screws up in the back so let me put on let me put all these back put this case back on here and then let me take these screws out these are uh, these look like T10s again so T10 yep that screw right there so these are C screws I'm assuming that's for case so far they all look the same and I will take the heat sink off in the next video I just want to get this apart and examine the board and then that's going to be the extent of this first video. We're just going to take a look at what we have and then I'm going to run some testing on it in the next video and change that port. This is my first Xbox I've ever taken apart. I've never taken apart an Xbox before. Never worked on an Xbox before so I want to just um, take my time on it and make sure I do it right. So right now we're just getting it apart that's how we're going on here we're just getting it apart you know get the dust off of it and stuff so I'm gonna hard drive first I guess so that cable out of there get that cable out of there so there's my hard drive uh, very dusty So then we have the disk drive. So we have the disk drive, and then we have the the power supply here. And that looks like it has a little clip on it here that needs to be popped to get that off. Okay, let me get the board out. I gotta get this little clip off of here first get the board out oh it still has the heat sink screwed into the back and totally forgot these screws I'll get used to taking these apart those there So this is these screws are in there. So if I am able to fix this, I, I may actually keep it and um, 
you know, for testing purposes, make me my own Xbox file. If you haven't seen my Switch file, I have a Switch file with a lot of stuff on there. I might compile an Xbox One for each of the Xboxes. I know it's a little late in the game, but, um, you know, let's see what... Alright, so let's get this out of there. It doesn't look bad. So... Now, let me see if I can get this, figure this connector out here. Okay, that's how that works. So, it's very dusty. That'll be all dusted and cleaned off. So, let's take a look at this port here. Let's see. looks soldered correctly. It looks like an original port. I'm going to bring the microscope over the table here and I'm going to put it on the microscope and I'm going to look at this port here. So it does have some damage to the port. It is mangled up and bent. So and then that is the other port. You see how clean and non-bent that one is. And you see how bent that one is. So that is what we are looking at. And then if we come back over here, we have the we have I can get the board into view. We have the retimer chip. That doesn't look replaced, that looks new. So if the HDMI port doesn't fix it, we can replace the retimer chip. Let's just get my tweezers here. Let's just see if these pins are all soldered down. Yeah, they, they appear to be, so it, uh, this appears to be original port. So, you know, I think I got lucky on this. Only being $100 in the U.S. and um, getting it for that price and just needing maybe an HDMI and a retimer. My HDMI ports are not here yet. So, what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to clean this up and then... In the next video, we're going to change that HDMI port. Then we're going to do some cool testing stuff, too, in, in, in another video, just to get some diagnostic stuff on this and go over some stuff, check out where the components that I got go, and things like that. So that's going to do it for this video. This is the teardown and the diagnosis so far. We just need to change that HDMI port when they come in. We will do that. Um, here are the links to my social media. You can also visit me on Patreon if you so choose to. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day.